Hi, my name is Roger Johnson. Uh, I'm a volunteer here at Southgate, and today I'm going to try to give you a beginning training on Euchre. So Euchre is a card game played all over. There's a lot of variation to rules. What I will do is give you the rules that we do play here at Southgate. So once the standard gets opened up to a normal, again, we have Euchre twice a week, you'll be able to step in here and there won't be any unusual rules. You can enjoy the game and uh, hope we have fun with it. All right, so Euchre is a, a game that's played with four players. The concept is four players normally. You sit across from your partner, so B and D would be a partner. A and C would be a partner. Your goal is here, is uh, we'll get into it, as you take tricks, if, I, if B decides to make it something, we have to get majority of the tricks. Um, we'll go through the cards and I'll go through the deal. So your normal deck, is nine to the ace. There's 24 cards, so there's nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace in each suit. So that's how the normal cards are in the deck. As you play a game, when they call trump, trump is what would be the boss in each, when we get into the game, we'll look at it. So if, let's say, spades was made trump in this hand, the jack of spades, would become the boss. He beats any other card because spades would be trump. The same jack, the same colored jack, becomes his left hand man, so he's called the left bower. So in ranking order, these would be the highest cards played. The boss, right bower, left bower, ace, king, queen, ten, nine. In those cards, because they're trump, could beat any other card in the deck. All these are in their normal ranking order, and if something was led, they would take anything over these, but Trump would be boss. And we'll get see that once we get playing. So I'll put him back. Oops, when it's not called, they go back to the normal order. If hearts were ordered Trump, get back here. He becomes boss, his left hand man slides over, and now he becomes a heart. Uh, right bower, left bower, in the ranking orders again. So that's how the cards orders are played. Now in a game, you would deal, you always deal five cards in clockwise order. If you go online, you watch other tournaments, sometimes they'll play, they'll deal this way, three and two and then two, and three and two, as long as every player has five cards, that's all that matters. Uh, I'll give you the, the way we play it at Southgate mostly, or always, we have our own rules, but there's a lot of variations. We will deal one card each. So each player, D will be the dealer. Each player gets five cards. And the last, you always make sure there's four cards left. This is called the key. So the top card in the kitty we would turn up, and that would be the first card of the bidding round. So bidding would be, do we, what do we want to be Trump? So I'll turn these cards up one at a time. Each player keeps their own cards hidden, but it, for learning we'll do it this way. A has that as his hand. B has this in his hand. C has that in his hand, and D as the dealer has this in his hand. Dealer, deal, dealer played out, put them out, so A gets his first idea to bid. So he looks at this, if he wants clubs as Trump, he has to order the dealer. The dealer is the only one that can take this into his hand if someone wants clubs. So he looks at this, he goes, I might have a trick there, I got some aces, I'm going to pass. He can, don't think he's going to get three tricks. At Southgate, because D dealt, if B wants that club, if he orders his partner, he has to play all by himself. The partner has to sit back. Can he get three tricks? He doesn't have the boss club, he doesn't have very good suit, and we'll see that when we play. He's going to pass. 
he definitely don't have enough to get three tricks if clubs were dropped. And I look at this one and I go, I've got the ace and queen, kind of a messy hand. So this card gets turned down. Clubs are no longer an option. So now we go around the second time in the bidding process. Does he have enough to make it? He's got two spades, he's got two diamonds. Pass. He's going to pass. Clubs got turned down. He has two spades, but again, he has terrible suit. He's going to pass. This fellow's going to look at it and he goes, well, I've got a lot of hearts. I'm going to make it a heart. Would he go alone? We'll get into that later. Alone is if you want to do it all by yourself, you don't have your partner. You, you, you get all five tricks, you get more points. But he doesn't have a very good suit trick, so let's say he doesn't have the nerve. He's going to make it hearts. So I'll use this little thing to remind us, some people have these. Hearts are going to be trumped. C has made it hearts. Now because I dealt, the player to the left of the dealer always leads. He doesn't have any hearts, but he's got an ace. So this would be a high suit trick. Everyone that has a diamond has to play a diamond as we go around. So he has to play a diamond. He doesn't have a diamond. My partner led an ace. I can put a trump on it. Or I can take a chance that I'll put that on it because he doesn't, he might have a diamond. And in essence he does. This is a heart now because it's the left bower, but he has to play the king of diamonds because diamonds were led. So this fellow ace won. Well, that worked so well, let's try this ace. He played an ace, he has to follow suit. He doesn't have a choice, he has to trump his, his partner's ace. I'll just put this little nine on it. I'll use my lowest one. Some people have different ideas. We'll get into strategy in another episode. This guy has to play a spade. So that would have been his trick, but he had the trumpet. So he took his partners, but he's got it. Well, now he's only got hearts. He better lead the right bower. Because there's no use leading smaller if someone's going to beat him. I'll lead the right. There's no use playing your left. You're going to lose it. I play the smaller heart because that's the boss. He doesn't have a heart. I'll play the littlest card I got. He has to play his heart. You have to follow suit. If he were to go like this, he had a heart. He reneged. That's cheating. People make mistakes. We correct people, and we all make mistakes. But don't get in the. We'll get in the habit of always playing the proper card. So hearts had to be played. So he won that one. Well, I'll lead another heart. Now this guy has the boss. Player D's got the boss heart. He doesn't have a heart. He'll play the smallest card. He'll play the smallest card. D wins that hand. That hand. And now, the queen of clubs is led. That's all I got left. He has the highest club. B has to play that. He still has trump. This would have been A's, but he still had trump. So he takes it. So A and C got four tricks. Player B and D got one. So C and D would get one point. If they'd have got all of them, they get two points. But because we got one, they only get. As long as you get three to four, you'll get one point. So that's that's kind of the concept of the game. I'll put this back to, to so there's no trump yet. D dealt, now A will deal. Again, I'll deal these face up this time, just so we see it. Easier for me to, for than turning them over after. So A dealt, you should finish there, you should have four cards, and that one turns up. So this time A dealt, so B bids first. There's no way he can get three tricks if clubs are trump. He's going to pass. He's only got two clubs, but he can't go alone. He doesn't have enough. I'm not going to make it clubs. I only have a nine. If it became clubs, I have two, but I'm not going to make it. He's going to look at his hand and he goes, I don't see enough there to try to get three tricks. Clubs are no longer available. The kitty goes out of the way. 
B gets the chance to make it first. Now this is where some of the strategy comes into place. I'll get into it more in the future. He's got three hearts. Does he want to make it or doesn't he? It's early in the game. The points are good. Let's try a heart. Let's hope your partner has something. This is where it comes into some strategy. He's got three, he'll make it. Doesn't have any aces, taking a big chance. So he's gonna lead. Now, I'll lead my king of diamonds to see what happens. He has to follow suit. I don't have any diamonds because that has become a heart now. Well, I'm gonna play this little heart in the concept that he might have a diamond, which he does. But he's got the ace, but he's no use throwing it away. Because I've won that trick already. I've got a heart, so I don't take it. Well, seeing as my partner made it hearts, I'm thinking he's got the, the right. I'm going to lead that one. That's the second biggest card. Oh, A happened to have the biggest guy. So he's going to win that trick. There's no use playing my big hearts. He has to play a heart. Play the littlest one. He doesn't have any. He'll just throw one away. So Mr. A won that hand. That, that will lead a diamond again. He's got no diamonds. I'm going to trump it. He doesn't have anything, any trump, doesn't have any diamonds, just has to throw off. My partner's already got that trick, so I'm going to lay off. There's no use me wasting my heart because my partner's got it. So B won that one. He's going to lead this one because both the jack, red jacks are gone if you keep track of your cards. That's the boss heart. I have to play a heart. He has not. He wins that one. And then he'll have a spade left. C happens to have the ace for this. And no, no one can take it. Other than, so C wins it. So on this hand, B and D got three tricks. A and C got two. So B and D would get one point because they took the majority of the tricks. If it was it, if 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 a, if B and D made it, and A and C took three tricks, they are awarded two points. That's what they call a euchre. I'll try one more hand here. Um, B's going to deal this time. Game five cards. Four cards left, and you turn the top one up. Put it there. Right out the bat, he has no spades. Pass. I'm not going to make it. Pass. He doesn't have any spades to order it up. Pass. Again, this comes into your strategy part of the game. He's got two spades already in his hand. If I bring that one up, I'll have three. Now this is where some of the strategy, which do I throw away? I'm going to throw this away. Little card, those are bigger. He'll take a chance. He's hoping his partner can help him. All right, so now we, so spades are Trump. I'm just using this little cube so we remember. So D made of spades. Well, I'm going to lead my ace. He's at the top of suit. I have to play a heart. He has to play a heart. He doesn't have a heart, so I'm going to take it because spades are trump. I need to get three tricks. Well, I'm going to lead my ace of clubs. I'm not that strong at spades, so I'm not leading them out too much. Club. He has to play a club. That's my partner's ace. I'm going to lay off. I'm going to hope that goes around. And it happens. He had a club. He has a play. He's going to lead a spade now. He doesn't have any. He doesn't have any. A has got the boss, he's taken it. Now the diamond, just as his highest card, he doesn't have a diamond, he's going to trump it. He's going to just play along. They've got that trick, and then he's going to have the queen of clubs left. He's got a king, nothing. So, B won. So, again, they've got the majority of the tricks, they get one point. If you happen to get a hand where you think you can get all the tricks. I'll take, I'll just put some cards out here.
we'll say that that that's that's your hand and and let's say D dealt and I'm sitting here and they you're gonna go boy I got a good hand and I think we can get them all so A would go you take it up and I'm gonna go alone C would sit out he would play on his own he'd lead all his spades out probably get them all have a high suit when we get into the strategy of the game more on the next session I'll teach you that I'll look into that more this is just getting the concept of the game nine to ace are your cards um, suit is in the order but if you have trump the clubs the spades are trump you got your highest and you work your way down through those I hope I didn't confuse you too much um, we play here a lot twice a week at, South, at Southgate um, we get if you you get this picked up, we'll go into my next episode on strategy and we'll just be playing more hands and looking at how people think on the game. But I hope that helps. Um, hope to see you soon. Come on out and play sometime. And uh, we're always willing to sit down and work together. It's just a game. <laughs>